Good morning, everyone from New York. Today I'm at the Bronx Zoo. I'm going to show you all around the Bronx Zoo to all the animals, all the exhibits. I grew up on Long Island, so I've been going to the Bronx Zoo since I've been a little kid. So excited to get back here and check things out. The largest section of the zoo is the African Trail, home to all sorts of different African animals. Here you can see two absolutely beautiful male African lions. They sleep 21 hours a day too. Look at how cool. He's just posing there, looking out in the uh, savannah. The lions have wandered over. So I turn the camera back on. They're beautiful. there you can see a big old ostrich I believe during the warmer weather months this is a giraffe enclosure as well but with being so cold as we're visiting in December the giraffes are probably all inside but the ostrich don't hang out over here Oops, sorry about that it's a pretty ostrich over here you can see the African wild dogs you guys have a giant exhibit to roam around in and are very, very pretty. And this is fantastic. There's a hyena playing with a stick. That is wonderful. We're now in the giraffe building. Pretty cold out, so I don't blame these guys for hanging out in here. I love the enrichment toy. It's like a, something you eat, like a ball pit in a cage. And there it goes. Look at that. So it's very dark as the artwork is a nocturnal animal. But he's sleeping over there in his hole. The little fuzzy guy is a dwarf mongoose there who shares an enclosure with a hornbill. Here is a better look at those dwarf mongooses. <laughs> are you sure they're not fighting in <laughs> Looks like the next area is a big African belt kind of exhibit. <laughs> right here at the fence is a zebra. They get all over the place. This exhibit's home to a couple different things. I believe the only thing out is a Nubian ibex all the way at the top of the hill. But this enclosure is also home to rock hyrax, which are really cool animals, and the galata baboons, which are like a fuzzy species of baboons. Way over there on the other side of their enclosure, you can see some tummies. They have a lot of room. Up next is another one of the main attractions here at the Bronx Zoo, Jungle World. Jungle World is off to a great start. Let's check out the tree kangaroo. It's a really nice enclosure here that he shares with a couple of turtles. So I was so distracted by the adorableness of the tree kangaroo, I didn't even see that there are bats hanging up above. Oh, look at that. Yeah. You can see one of my favorite zoo animals sleeping ever so peacefully over here. The Asian small clawed otter. Having a little otter cuddle party. It's a fun looking guy. It's a Rhode Island snake neck turtle. <laughs> some, some Langer monkeys eating over here. He's having a snack. Just a little better shot of him there. Cool little faces. Aww. I do 
gotta reiterate that the Jungle World area is top notch. You can see a whole bunch of monkeys hanging out behind waterfalls and caves and rock work and all this kind of great stuff. Roaming around over here, two Malayan tapers. It's really muddy. Look at them go. Their, their noses are so cool. And they're so active. Looks like they really enjoy playing in the mud. In things I don't think I've seen before, the taper is going for a swim. And I think his buddy's gonna follow him in. Pacing back and forth here, a beautiful leopard. I would say one of probably the, the most beautiful animals out there. Look at him. Little guys, a tree shrew. A couple of them in here. We reach another giant, giant section of jungle world here. Most notably, you can see the gurials, and this guy just posing right on top of a waterfall. Here you can see the zoo's bison, and they have so many. You can see it's feeding time, and they have uh, a lot, a lot of bison. I like this guy who must have an itch. That's pretty adorable. That, that's fantastic. But yeah, tons of bison here at the Bronx Zoo. This large enclosure here is home to some sea lions. You see them flopping around. Uh, pretty active this morning. Unfortunately, they don't have like an underwater viewing area, which would be pretty neat. And I believe they do feed them around like 3 or 3.30. So if you're at the zoo around that time, definitely want to see, check that out. because that's a, that's a fun time. Pop up everywhere. <laughs> One is flying all the way up. King of the world! <laughs> Cool looking animal here. That's a Merton's oh, water monitor. And they are they're really neat. Oh he's getting in the water out of too. It's water, these are water ones, but the other one you see was just a different. We also have uh, some uh, turtles in here as well. Yeah. Look at the seafood, yeah. Right Very Godzilla-esque these creatures. This guy's pretty fun. This is a blue tree monitor. And seems to be very active. Very, very long tail. So not a great view, but all the way in the back of the enclosure there, you do have a Komodo dragon digging through the dirt. And uh, kudos to the people at the Bronx Zoo. I'm recording this in December 2021. They just had a litter of six Komodo dragons born this month, which is amazing. Got a couple of monitors over here. And this guy who's struggling to climb that tree. They are not really posing for us, but you got a bunch of camels over here. A rather large enclosure here is for the brown bear. Well, he's not really posing for us. He's taking a look at whatever's on the other side of that mountain. It's a pretty big boy up there. Now that's a better view of him. Look at that big boy. Oh, he's beautiful. Hard to follow. Snow leopards over there. He's on the move. Is that tail? Yeah, that's good tail. That's a tiger. That's a snow leopard, you see? Sleeping over here is one of the cutest zoo animals you could find anywhere. The red panda, who's just kind of a ball of fluff right now. He's taking a nap. Time for Tiger Mountain. And an absolutely beautiful tiger. Up next is one of the newer exhibits here at the Bronx Zoo, and that is Madagascar. In this wonderful old building, I think in Older zoo times, this was the, the big cat house. 
and is now home to the Madagascar animals. So lots of lemurs, I would assume, in here. The first enclosure you get to is for the Sifaka, which oh, yeah, it came down to play. <laughs> These guys are so neat. It's three of them all together. Zoom in on him having some lunch there. The next enclosure is for a hog nosed snake. Oh, yeah. The Nile crocodiles here have a very, very cool exhibit. Above water viewing, underwater viewing. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. They're very big. Oh my gosh, they're so scary. Look at that. The next section features some smaller animals, as well as some really cool projection mapping effects. One of the smaller exhibits home to a four-stripe plated lizard. Kind of interesting here, we're in the lemur exhibit, home to the, the ringtail lemurs. There's also a, a collar lemur over here, hanging out below a rock. But the most active animal it's the radiated tortoise. Look at him go, speeding along. He do follow his like tracks in the sand as well as he, his whole route. He's moving. Moving along a little bit, you can see there's a lot of radiated tortoises in here. Not, not my favorite animal by any means, they, but they have so many of them, the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. I believe these guys are the spider tortoises here, and they are just adorable. <laughs> Including this guy in the water. Yes, they're vegans. <laughs> Moving along, a waterfall welcomes you here to the red rough lemur exhibit, who are much more active. Not an overly common animal to see at a zoo. You have a fossa here. He looks like he's having a little fossa dream. Very adorably. The Congo Gorilla Forest is one of the premier attractions here at the Bronx Zoo. The Congo Gorilla Forest, it's a very, very well done exhibit. You know, very modern, super well themed. Now, if you are visiting in the wintertime like we are, they do put the signs out and say, that, hey, the animals are probably not out. Go inside. Did head into a big building. The first creature we got to is this cool lizard. Who's paired up with a couple of turtles. Very nice aquarium tank. Showing off cichlids and other African fish. Here are the dwarf African odd frogs hanging out underneath the water. There are more kinds of beetles than other animals or plants. Here you can see an African lungfish. This exhibit is for the wolf's monkey. What a cool face he has. There's a couple of them in here with lots and lots of stuff to climb on. You got an aviary section up next with a long-tailed hornbill and some guinea fowl. Have to use the super zoom on this guy. It's not easy to find him. And there you can see the gorilla. Unfortunately not running at the moment, probably based on the ongoing global health situation, is the Conservation Theater where you go in and watch a movie, a six minute film all about gorillas, but then it has a really great effect where the screen opens up and you see into the outdoor enclosure. So if it's running, definitely see that. A little furball here is a pygmy marmoset. Good job. The gorilla enclosure is very, very, very large. If you're coming in a warm weather month, it's probably very spectacular. If you're here in December like me, they're all inside. I'm vocalizing over here, you can see a whole bunch of the Caribbean flamingos. And these guys are right at the entrance to the aquatic birdhouse. A couple of neat birds in here. You have a lapwing and an African pygmy goose. Up here you have a storm stork. 
lots of birds in this one, most notably the very, very colorful Skylet Ibis. Also in this enclosure, you can see the masked lapwing hopping around. Oh, you guys know I'm gonna love this one. These are the little blue penguins, uh, the smallest penguin species. Uh, they've got a bunch of them in here with some, some other blue. Uh, look at them swimming around. Oh, they're so cool. Uh, they're not vocalizing right now, but these guys can be very, very loud. Oh, it's very cute. And right next to the penguins, you get the the puffins also have a nice little waterfall here. They want to clean themselves off. There are a lot of cool birds in this one, but the highlight's got to be there's a little baby spoonbill all the way in the back there. I'm just hanging out with mom near the nest. Eating, eating some fish. One more shot here in the little baby spoonbill. A very not common zoo animal. You've got some kiwis here. Unfortunately, both are sleeping. Posing for us there is a laughing kookaburra. a smaller species of hornbill here. Time to head on into the seabird colony, which is in this giant dome aviary. Brock is home to a lot of Inca terns, which is a really cool species of bird. And they have a ton of them. Yeah. Of course, the star of this show here is the malogenetic penguins. These are penguins, warm weather penguins in South America. I'm curious if that one is uh, protecting a nest and an egg, keeping it warm. But uh, penguins, penguins are the best. All right, so this guy over here, that's a Cody. He is part of the children's zoo, which is only open during the warmer months of the year. Uh, so we are here in December, so we will not be visiting. But he did poke his head up to say hello. And uh, one thing I'm bummed about, they have a bat-eared fox in the kids' zoo, and that's a, a really, really cute species of animal. The zoo does have a gift shop as well as a cafe, and just hanging out. Cool peacock. The Bronx Zoo has an incredibly unique carousel. It is a bug carousel, so all the animals on this carousel are all different types of insects. There's a nice nature trek playground area with ropes and stuff for the kids. I wonder if warm or whether there's be like animals and stuff underneath. If you're visiting the Bronx Zoo between, I believe it's April or May and October, be sure not to miss the Bengali Express monorail. It's a wonderful monorail ride that takes you past all sorts of animals. That's where you get to see the elephants among many others. It's really pretty great. Time to head into the mouse house. And I'm normally a fan of any like indoor exhibit with lots of small mammals, so should enjoy this one. So first up in the mouse house, the little degus. Look how cute they are. Aww. These little absolutely tiny mice, these are a European harvest mouse, and they're just so small. It's a very cute, very sleepy chinchilla. This pair of birds here, these are black-faced ibis. Got a beautiful bald eagle here, just posing for us. A little bit clearer shot of the bald eagle there. An absolutely beautiful snowy owl over here. The puppies, Very large golden eagle. Got the Andean condor up there showing off the wingspan. Uh, one of the larger species of birds on the planet. Over here, this funny looking little guy. That's a burrowing owl. My personal favorite of the owl species. Oh, look at them. They're really funny looking little birds. 
Uh, they live underground. So uh, you can see the zoo here is built on tunnels and things like that. They're so cool. I don't see a sign, but I believe these guys are vultures. They might be bald vultures. Uh, moving around quite a bit and hanging out right in the front. Another one of the classic buildings up next. That is reptiles. I do love the architecture here at the Bronx Zoo. Very traditional, uh, very classical. I'm not going to show you everything here in the reptile house, but they do have some hellbenders. And you can, he blends right in with the lug. Yeah. Posing over here is a dwarf crocodile. Right up by the glass, you do have the reticulated python. The Fly River Turtle is very, very active. So this is absolutely the highlight of the reptile house. You've got the little Komodo dragons that were just born. Um, back in early November and December, they're so tiny. See, these things grow like six, seven feet long. And I've never seen one. I get to go to a lot of zoos. I've never seen one as a baby. Here's a very, very active blue iguana here. You're so cool. Look at them. Look at that face. You can see one of the giant snake neck turtles. Along with some other turtles. This will probably be Ken's favorite part of the video. And when I was looking at these guys, I miss this other guy just posing for us down here. This wild looking building here is home to the world of birds. Some fun birds in the first one, including the buff crusted buster. Look at him. Having some dinner over here is the Maleo, a very interesting bird. It's, it's got kind of like a bowl or a ball on top of its head. Absolutely beautiful toucan. Made of, his bill is made of the same material as your fingernails. And then some larger birds. Down here. It's a beautiful pheasant type bird right at the edge of the enclosure. He's a pretty bird. Very big enclosure here for all types of birds, including this big guy down there. All right, time to look at my watch, see what time it is up. Unfortunately, it is not beer 30, as the Zoo Brews is closed. But I love the logo, look at the little bunny on top of there. And it's cool, like, I would have loved this because they have a whole bunch of different local beers for the area. I don't think I've had any of these. So the craft beer bar was closed, but we're here during uh, Christmas time, so the holiday bar was open. So I'm drinking a, a spiked eggnog with rum and then candy cane pieces and chocolate sauce. Right here next to these peacocks. This building over here was the old former World of Darkness, which uh, closed down I think 10 plus years ago and they haven't really done anything with it. I, I love the Bronx Zoo, I've been going all my life, but one thing I think that takes it down a level as compared to other world-class zoos in this country, we haven't seen a lot of expansion here. Uh, I think I haven't been in the zoo in four or five years and the only expansion has been a new playground, which when you compare that to like San Diego and, and Columbus, uh, Cincinnati, Fort Worth, some of the other really high top-notch zoos in the country, it really doesn't add up. But I, I still love it. Just wish I would see more, more money going back into the zoo, especially when it's thirty or forty dollars to come in here, and uh, they get like two million guests a year. And that'll do it for time at the Bronx Zoo. A wonderful zoo. Great to come back here, um, and it's an all-day zoo. We got here at ten thirty. It's four o'clock now. And that's not even counting like some of the summer stuff that wasn't even open during our visit. So uh, it's easily a very easy spot to spend all day. Giant zoo, it's like 265 acres, tons and tons of animals. Uh, some of the highlights for me, I love seeing the tapers, the, uh, the African lions vocalizing, and the baby Komodo dragons. I've never seen a baby Komodo dragon before. Um, not the cheapest zoo to get into. For the winter time, it's $30. I think in the summer, it is $40. I think you do get your money's worth, and you're kind of paying the New York City tax as well. But I do recommend the Bronx Zoo. Probably for me a top 10 zoo in the country. If you have any questions or comments about the Bronx Zoo, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching.